Hello everybody, here we are once again with John Collins, out on site doing some testing with the KT63. Quick demonstration, doing a ZS test using the KT63 on the no trip setting. In other words, it won't trip RCBOs, RCDs and RCCBs rated at 30 milliamps or greater. So as you can see on this consumer unit here, everything is protected by an RCBO and RCD at 30 milliamps. So the socket that we're going to test must be purely protected by one of those. So let's have a go. It's on the loop setting, no trip. We can see there we've got a voltage, 244 volts, and we've done the loop and we've got a value of 0.42. And you'll see how fast that was as well. With a lot of these tests on the market, you have to wait a long, long time whilst it's conducting the test. So I'll turn it off and turn it back on again, just to show you straight from setting, from off to the non-trip. There's my voltage. It's checking the polarity of the supply. That'll all come in okay. You just wait for a few seconds to do his pre-test uh, pre checks. I've got my voltage there at 244. All I've got to do is press a button and wait. 244 volts and I've got a value there at 0.43. Another useful feature that you can use whilst it's doing this test, it measures also your fault current. It's done internally for the measurement. All I have to simply do is press this button here. So I've got 0.43 and under fault conditions, in this case, I'd have 570.6 amps, so you just say 0.57 ka. And that's to do a check, because you're supposed to do this test at all relevant points, not just at the origin, but throughout the installation. And there you have it, the ZS test, using the no-trip function with a KT63. Remember folks, Johnny Ace is on the case.